You must build a tank! Is exactly what World of Tanks have asked me to do. Yes, World of Tanks, the free online multiplayer battle game, said Colin, as master builder on the internet, we challenge you to make a tank. Now, if I was to look to the game for inspiration, they have got a massive array of tanks. There's about 550 tanks in the game. They come from, you know, First World War, Second World War, all sorts of different makes and models and all that. So they've got various different terrains we can look at climbing across. Of course, they've got their battle arenas. You know, there's, all, there's, there's lots. There's lots in there. But Colin plays differently, doesn't he? I like to think outside the box, and I'm thinking... Oh, sure, I want to make a tank with tracks on it. I want to do something a little bit different, because that's what we like at the Colin First Channel. We like to be different, don't we? Yes, we do. Okay, so I want to make a screw tank. Now, it's like a corkscrew or an Archimedes screw. Put this on the ground and turn it. Obviously, it would just roll across the terrain like that. That's no good. But if you stop it, so if you fix it, either end, and then try and push it, obviously, like a screw thread, it wants to worm its way forward. Now, if you have... Two of them, either side of your vehicle, turning against each other, it kind of tracks forward. They go logs, everything, they can go all over the place. It's quite a versatile machine, and you don't see many of them, so I thought we'd have a go at building one of them. Now, as a little bonus for you viewers, if you type the promo code TANKTASTIC into World of Tanks, you get yourself a free T127 tank, 500 gold, and seven days premium access. It's all good, right? Just, uh, just measure my arm a minute. About 700. That'll come in handy. Mr. Archimedes Screw, we shall make you! So this is basically going to be half of a screw. There'll be another bit on top of it, and then we'll also have a peak on the end to help it like kind of scale up rocks and stuff. Now, because we're joining two of them together, they've got to be absolutely spot on. If they're a little bit wonky, then they won't join together properly, and you'll end up with like, it'll just go crazy and like just mess itself to bits. So everything's got to be at right angles, properly clamped together. Now, first thing I want to do, I don't want to overlap the two bits of metal like this. So we're going to mark down here and we're going to stick it in the bead roller and put like a little bit of a, like a kick sort of thing. So one of them like kind of kicks underneath it and then we can weld that up, weld all the bits in, tack weld, tack weld, tack weld, and then hopefully we'll have a perfectly round, square, true cylinder. And then we need another one and a cone.
pretty good. Seam looks nice. It's, uh, it's not too heavy. Try to make it as light as possible because weight is not our friend on this project. So uh, that's that one done. Just need one more, Colin. Right, that's got two of them. Next off, make the point a bit. Just reach these bolts. I knew that measurement we took earlier would come in handy. We've got a back and we've got a front. Put the cone on the top there. I've not finished the very tip of it off because I need to know exactly where the center is. And to do that, we're gonna slide the axle through, which is a 50 mil bit of bar at the moment. Slide that through to keep that dead center. I've made these little patterns which kind of go over the studs on the inside, hold it dead centre so we can slide it through and then right on the end I've got this little flange which I've put some captive nuts on already. Slide that over, weld it to the tip of the cone and then therefore if the tip of the cone's a little bit off or anything like that this will be where it, exactly where it needs to be so it won't really matter. And then down the other end I've got this plate as well. Right, let's get on with that and then we'll see. Ooh. Have you seen my tube? <laughs> ah, the foam! Oh, this is uh, not the most interesting of footage now, is it? Tube gives birth to man! <laughs> That's all right, isn't it? It's not bad. It's got a little bit of a wobble, but we're only talking like two or three mil sort of thing. I can cope with that. It's pretty strong as well, look. Ugh. Holds me. People always said I should make a nuke for 10 million subscribers. Here we are. Right, next thing we need to do is the screwy bit, the screw thread. Now, they mess around with various different patterns and whatnot, and various ways of, of of attaching it on and although this is quite a good way of doing it, material wise this is not a very efficient way for me to cut stuff out because I can only get one of these out of my squares. So I'm going to go for quarters because I can get nine of them on my plasma cutter which is a revolution in a bit. I did mess around with trying to put little bends on them and little kicks to try and make it sit on slightly different. No, just going to go straight quarter, whack it on there. Right! Yeah! Where's Colin gone? Colin's over here and he's knocked it over.
you gotta be pleased with that. That looks awesome. But of course, we don't want one of them. We need two of them. Da -da! Oh, if only if it was that simple. Right, so we have got two screws, but there is also a lot of question marks. Are they gonna be strong enough? Are the axles just gonna twist to pieces? Is this pitch too aggressive? Is this spiral bit, is it too high? I have no idea. So the next video, we need like a chassis to bond the two together and then we need to start working on the drive. We've got a hydraulic pump, an engine, a seat. Oh, it's gonna be so cool, some levers. Ah, oh, there is so much more to do. Now, of course, let's not forget the sponsor, World of Tanks. Without them, this wouldn't be possible. This is a very expensive project. So, go and check them out. There's 100 million people playing this game. There's something there, whether you're a pro or a novice. You don't have to pump loads of money in it to win. It's free to win, so they say. So, use the link in the description. Use your promo code, support them, support the channel. Of course, subscribe. You don't wanna miss the next video. We need a chassis and stuff. We need all sorts of things. We need to get a screw tank in. See you in the next one.